This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Possible exciting news on Into the Multiverse today. Welcome to Into the Multiverse. I am your host, Josh Peck. If you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell to let YouTube know you always want to be notified when a new episode goes up. And just in case you're not notified anyway, just know every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a new episode of Into the Multiverse. Uh, scientists at the CERN Nuclear Physics Lab near Geneva are investigating whether a bizarre and unexpected new particle popped into existence during experiments at the large Large Hadron Collider. So researchers on the LHC's CMS detector have discovered bumps in their data that may indicate an unknown particle uh, that has more than twice the mass of a carbon atom. Uh, the prospect of such a mysterious particle has physicists baffled and excited. At the moment, none of their theories of reality include this type of particle, if it exists at all. Though, many uh, theorists are now hard at work on models that do include this particle. Uh, Alexander Nikitenko, a theorist on the CMS uh, team who worked on the data, said, quote, I'd say theorists are excited and experimentalists are very skeptical. As a physicist, I must be very critical, but as the author of this analysis, I must have some optimism too, end quote. Now, many particles created in the LHC are highly unstable and immediately decay into lighter, more stable particles like photons and electrons. So physicists find new particles by looking for an excess of these particles, which uh, is apparent when it shows a bump in the data. So, for example, one way the Higgs boson was found uh, through the unusually high number of photons recorded in collisions in which uh, the particle was made. So that's how they were able to find it. Particle physics is obviously no easy pursuit. And to the endless frustration of physicists, bumps in data produced by nothing more than statistical uh, fluctuations pop up all the time. So the best way to distinguish between these and Nobel Prize winning discoveries is to analyze more and more data. Uh, statistical flukes always vanish with time. So in two separate analyses, the CMS team found uh, data that pointed to a buildup of muons or heavy electrons in their detector. Now, if real, the data indicates a new particle with a mass of 28 giga electron volts or 1 billion electron volts, which is slightly less than a quarter of the mass of a Higgs boson. But whatever it is, uh, it is not the particle uh, Nikitenko and his colleagues were looking for. So to complicate matters even further, the bumps were more pronounced in the LHC's low energy collisions than in more energetic collisions the machines performed after an upgrade. And that could be explained if more background particles are produced at higher energies, uh, which then obscure the signal. Now, because the analysis is so time consuming, it could take the CMS team another year or so to confirm or rule out this existence of a new particle. But, uh, but Carl Jacobs, uh, who's the spokesperson for the CERN uh, team that works on ATLAS, uh, which is another one of the LHC's other detectors, said it was checking its own data for signs of the proposed particle. Uh, Jacobs said, quote, we are working on a similar analysis of the ATLAS data. However, I cannot yet give you a timeline when the results will become public, end quote. Now, it's crucial for ATLAS to cross-check the results. Uh, Nikitenko said, quote, if it is confirmed by ATLAS, it will be the real thing. It will be really something terribly new, end quote. Interesting choice of words. Now, one independent study has already reported potential evidence for the particle. Um, Arno Heister, a former member of the CMS team who knew about the bumps in the data, uh, analyzed older results collected by Aleph, uh, a detector on CERN's previous particle accelerator known as the Large Electron Positron Collider, or LEP. Now, he found a similar bump at 30 giga electron volts. And Heister said, quote, this excess, if real, is something very unexpected, end quote. Uh, George Weiland, a theorist on the German electron sync uh, synchro synchrotron, excuse me, I have a hard time saying that, uh, machine, or DESY, DESI, said it will be uh, hard to come up with a model that has a particle like this one 
the CMS bump calls for. Uh, Wayland said, quote, this does not exclude the possibility that such a signal could actually exist. On the, on the contrary, it would be even more exciting if a signal were observed that does not seem to fit into our present models. Uh, further experimental information is eagerly awaited, end quote. Michelangelo, Michelangelo Mangano, a researcher at CERN, said, quote, of course, theorists are always happy when some anomaly shows up in the data, and I am confident many colleagues have started looking into this. However, it is a bit early to get excited, given that Atlas has yet to release their analysis, and given that much more data is on tape, even for CMS, it is clear that the effect will soon be confirmed or diluted away, end quote. Now, of course, we will keep our eyes on this story as it develops, and we'll be sure to keep you all updated, but that's where we're at right now. That's the information that's available today. But in the meantime, I would like to know, what do you think? Uh, could this be a new particle? And if so, what kind of significance will this have on the rest of us? Also, if they discover something that can't be explained with the standard model of physics, could that be a good thing or a bad thing? What might come from that? Uh, as always, I want to uh, know what you think. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Now, if you're viewing this on YouTube, that would apply. Other places, uh, if there is a comment section, go ahead and leave one. If not, just go head on over to YouTube and you can leave it there. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And if YouTube still doesn't notify you, just know every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you'll get a brand new episode of Into the Multiverse. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, take care and God bless. We've been told that America is a Christian country from its origin, one nation under God. We've been taught that our government is for the people, by the people. But what if it's all been just a grand deception? What if the God, worshipped in secret by government leaders in our nation's capital, is in fact our enemy? And many of our leaders have been venerating him secretly through arcane rituals, setting the scene for the incarnation of this ancient entity. They used the powerful energy of ninth degree sex magic through which the goddess Babylon herself might appear in human form. What if everything we thought we knew about this great nation was designed to bring about the greatest conspiracy of all time, a conspiracy for the souls of humanity? What if I told you that America was founded by the darkest elite secret societies and that there are still powerful remnants controlling hands in high positions carrying this torch? Dr. Thomas Horn, William Ramsey, Russ Dizdar. It's like God ripped open Hell's Kitchen and said, hey, here's some of the sequence of satanic evolution. Colonel Robert McGinnis, West Fall. Carl Teichrib, Justin Fall. It is the ritual that would ignite the resurrection of the Antichrist. Belly of the Beast. The holidays are rapidly approaching, and now's your chance to save big on the largest TV giveaway of the year. Skywatch TV is proud to announce the Belly of the Beast Grand Giveaway. In the brand new documentary, Belly of the Beast, you'll discover for the first time why a Bible is bound in a magic square inside the testes of the Washington Monument. Where and why a buried ancient magical obelisk awaits underground nearby. Where the entrance to a secret crypt exists connected to American Lucifer worship from within the deep state. And for the first time ever, the U.S. government-owned location where the Antichrist will be resurrected on a American soil. When you order Belly of the Beast from Skywatch TV, you'll also receive Lady Queensbro's celebrated original 1933 occult theocracy two-volume collection beautifully republished by Defender Publishing. These books are classic exposés on the secret societies, from witches to Knights Templar, Freemasons to Rosicrucians, Druids to the Illuminati, Masonic and Pagan symbols, Christian science, the Order of the Jesuits, and so so much more. Dr. Thomas Horn says no serious researcher's library is complete without this massive two-volume collection. These two books alone hold a retail value of $80.
Yours now, free when you purchase the Belly of the Beast Grand Giveaway. But we're just getting started. You'll also receive a gargantuan supply of brand new, super quality overstock gift books, DVDs, audio sets, survival and organic living books, and more to add to your library or to give away as gifts this holiday season. Sold separately, this grand giveaway holds a retail value of over $350. Yours now for your donation of only $35 plus shipping and handling. So don't delay. This avalanche of holiday gifts is perfect for the serious researcher in your life, but is only available while supplies last. So take advantage of this, the largest Skywatch TV giveaway of 2018, while you can when you order the Belly of the Beast Grand Giveaway, now at the Skywatch TV store. Order online or call 1-844-750-4985.